Hello traders, hello traders. The title of the video is Long Tail Candlestick Pattern Piercing Through A Key Level Technical Trading Turkish Lira Japanese Yen. All right. So you may say, George, where is the long tail candlestick that is piercing through a key level? This one. See, is the long tail enough for you? Here it is. It is piercing through which key level? Note it down. One nine eight five five. One nine eight five five. So how did we get to that uh, key level? You see that long candlestick bar here. We place a line at the high and the line at the low, and uh, we apply Fibonacci retracement to the range of that uh, long candlestick bar, and the media line of that long candlestick bar is the red line here at 19855. That candlestick bar with a long tail is piercing through the media line of this long candlestick bar. When we see a candlestick bar with a long tail piercing through a key level, is a bullish trading setup. Just one candlestick bar and a key level, that's all. It's a bullish trading setup. Beautiful. But something very interesting is happening. So when I recorded this video previously, I was telling traders that priority to bullish signal above 19855 and priority to bearish signal below it. Now let's go and investigate all right, what is happening here. I'm going to go to the daily chart. From the monthly chart, we go to the daily chart. On the daily chart, you can see that after that long tail right here, you see, the prime form Okay, a double bottom here. All right? And then it went up a bit. So what is happening after going up a bit? So it breaks the ball. Uh, this red trend line on a daily chart. So the, after breaking the ball, what the price doing right time? The price want to retest that key level. Because uh, this uh, financial instrument, the Turkish Lira, Japanese Yen, was buried for a long time. Now that uh, level of 19855 is a very, very important key level. In fact, it's a psychological price level because on a monthly chart, that long candlestick bar, talking about this one here, is an exhaustion. So price going down, going down, going down, going down. Now Barry Trader, after selling it strongly down to this point, they give up. This is what we call an exhaustion. Trader who know about uh, okay gap trading, stock gap trading, all right. So we have what we call the exhaustion gap. There are also exhaustion uh, pattern, and this is exhaustive, okay, candlestick bar here with uh, high volatility here. Now it bounced up. Now we have a bullish uh, candlestick bar with a long tail piercing through a key level. Going back again to the daily chart, you see where we have that long tail, the price form a double bottom, yes or no? Now it breaks a ball, okay? That red trend line, now the price is trying to retest the level of 19855. So for traders that are scalping, so you say, George, I'm a scalper, I'm a day trader. I want to take a speculative trade. Speculative trade means a bit risky, but you know how to control it. If you want to be a speculative trader, you want to draw this trend line on your daily chart. Quite close to this is what we call common set trend line. So they were selling on the edge of that trend line, now they push it down a bit more. You can do another one, you can do another trend line like this. This is not easy. Okay. Just connect this one and this one. You can also do something like this, you see here. All right. The lows can connect them. So what you are trying to do, you drawing those trend line. So if the pipe retests, okay, 
and then you'll be looking for training setup on the edge of those uh, train line on the daily chart. I can assure you, should I, can I use that word, assure you? I can tell you, not assure, I can tell you that the intention of those that are trading this currency pair is to push it back to retest this key level. And if that key level at 19855 fail, they want to retest that red trail line on a daily chart. So priority to bear a signal today, as it's looking now, all right, because the prior is trying to retest the key level. So it bounce up, now it's trying to retest it. So I won't be too excited to buy it now. Okay? Though I'm saying to you prior to bullish signal above 19855, I would prefer it to come back and retest it so we may see the reaction before I will attempt to, to buy it. Right now, I will only look for an opportunity to sell it. And this is what people are doing today. You see, they are just selling it because they want to retest that key level. They are bringing it to a level. See, it's a nice setup here. If you were here, you should sell it. That's what it is. You should sell it. Because is trying to retest the key level it's going down right, so if the price is going down you don't want to buy yes or no it's going down yes or no. can't you see it's going down is it going down for you no it's not <laughs> it's going down so i won't sell it i won't try to buy here i'll try to allow it to come to this key level if i want to buy i'll look for an opportunity to buy near that zone not only that, if I want to buy here near that level, I would prefer to see again a double bottom like this. One thing I need to mention to you. Are you listening? Good. The price has a high chance to form another long tail like this when it comes here. It may have another long tail. How do I know? Or what makes me to say that? That's a very good question. Now we are talking about advanced trading, which is what we call predictive factor pattern trading at dayprotraders.com. Predictive factor pattern, not the normal factor trading. We are talking about using a price action to forecast the price action itself. It's advanced trading that we call Predictive factor pattern trading of Mr. Benoit Mandebrot. Go to www.dayprotrade.com. Check out our webpage about predictive factor pattern. There is a predictive factor pattern here. Look here. Look at this. Look at this pattern here. See, price came down. All right. It's quite volatile, see. And it formed this uh, double bottom here. With a higher look. Can you see that? Pay attention to this structure here. Will you agree with me that this structure here looks similar to this one here? I know that double bottom with a higher low. This one got a long tail, was volatile here, was volatile here. Okay, here again, it was volatile and it went down big time, volatile. Now it formed a double bottom with a higher low, similar to this one. So after this uh, double bottom here that we have seen here, talking about predictive factor pattern, pattern training, after forming this double bottom here, it went up, yes or no? So there was a double bottom with a higher low, price went up, yes or no? Again, we have here a double bottom with a volatility like it was here, double bottom with a higher low, what the price did again, it went up, yes or no? Now look here. <laughs> now. The reason why I'm smiling is because uh, the, the predictive factor pattern, I'm the only one talking about it all the time, and I like that, okay? So, what has happened so far? It formed a double bottom chart pattern with a higher low, and then it went up. After it went up, what it did? It pulled back. Yes or no? So, double bottom, went up, pulled back. Look at this one. Double bottom, look at this, okay? Double bottom. What it did after that, it went up. Same thing like here. Double bottom, it went up. Double bottom with a higher low, it went up. And here, double bottom chart pattern, it went up. And after it went up, what it did, it pulled back. Look here. 
double bottom, it went up. What will you focus? You will focus that, it will go down again. That's what you're doing here. It's going down. Double bottom, went up, pull back. Double bottom with a higher low, it went up. Now, it's going down as it did here. So after it goes down, we will be thinking that, is it going to form again another double bottom with a higher low here? That is the question. Is it going to form another double bottom with a higher low when it reaches this level? Because there is a pattern being printed out. It's a predictive factor pattern. Yeah, double bottom, when now, pull back, form another double bottom, when now, pull back. Is it going to form another double bottom chart pattern, go up and stay up forever? Or pull back again and form another double bottom? So all we are doing, something has happened before, We've seen it, it repeated itself right here. Talking about probability, not certainty, it may do the same thing again, or it may do something completely different. But if it's doing what it, if it's about to do what it did before, we have an edge and we can take advantage of it. That's why I'm saying to you, when it's pulling back, it's pulling back quite volatile. You see, it's going down quite fast. Okay, that's what I'm saying to you. There is a high chance, as we have a long tail here, that it may crash down again before, before going up. So if it crash down like this here, you want to watch it. And if you are more advanced trader, you can carefully use 10 pips to buy it to see whether it's going to go up. That would be a beautiful trade, but it's a risky trade. So all is there. Am I talking too much? You may say, George, I'm not advanced trader. You can learn to become advanced trader later on, all right? Gently, gently, over time, you'll become also advanced trader. So for new traders, very, very important point. I'm not saying that this is exactly what is going to happen. It can happen. It may not happen at all. Just look for trading setup and then implement a different time frame trading method. If you do not know about a different time frame trading method, then you to search the phrase mastering top down trading method and you will see a playlist with five videos from two four stock trader YouTube channel. And you can also learn to master different time frame trading method. All right. All in all, today priority to bullish signal above 19855 and priority to bearish signal below it. But don't attempt to buy it before it reaches this zone and look for trading setup and then use the next step, top down trading method. And right now, they are pushing it back down near the level of 19855. Uh, it's not a good time to start buying it, you see. All right. Am I talking too much? Okay, so this will conclude our discussion today about a long tail candlestick piercing a key level, technical trading, Turkish lira, Japanese yen. If you can hear noise in the background, uh, that's the kettle trying to drink my coffee, all right? So my apologies to traders, <laughs> all right? Trader also must drink coffee, yes or no? All right, okay? If this video has been truly, truly useful to you, please let us know by giving us a beautiful thumbs up. Your thumbs up, please. You think that, George, I'm not impressed? Another ridiculous, funny accent video? Mark it down, okay? You think this is an essential tutorial? Feel free to share it on the social website, all right? This video will be posted first on Facebook. My Facebook page is stochastic-macd. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Our YouTube channel is 24 Forex Trader. Digit 2, Digit 4, Stop Forex Trader. And be sure to click on the notification bell. So anytime we record a new video, you will be the first person to be notified. All right? So we will see what's going to happen here. Until the next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy.
We are a TSTW24 traders talking about long tail, candlestick, piercing a key level, technical trading, Turkish lira, Japanese yen. The monthly chart, this candlestick bar has a long tail and is piercing through the media line of this long candlestick bar here. We have a bullish trading setup, but right now, the price is trying to, after breaking above 19855, it's trying to retest it. Will it find a support? You can be very patient until the DAX has settled. If you are a conservative swing trader, you may wait until that double bottom is formed or it form another clean cut okay, pivot point here. And it's starting around and the common settlement line is broken. And then you implement a top down trading method to trade it. Happy trading to you all. And I will speak to you soon. Thank you for watching. And I mean it. Thank you for watching.